Hello again everybody, this is John Jameson. I'm the best-selling author of The Perpetual Wealth System and also my new second book called Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds. Both bestsellers. If you're going to buy one of them, buy Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds, just loaded with information. Today I want to talk about one of the things we cover in that, uh, both books actually, is the myths of whole life insurance. I need to tell you my story, all right, a little bit. About 25 years ago, I was trained uh, in the financial world by a lot of people, but one of the guys, name was Charles Givens. Now, if you've been around a long time, you might recognize that name. Many of you won't. Charles Givens uh, was kind of the Dave Ramsey, who you probably know, and the Susie Orman, kind of those, those on par today is who Charles Givens was 25 years ago. Charles Givens taught the same thing that those two teach. And by the way, I like both Susie Orman and uh, Dave Ramsey. I think they teach... 90% great stuff. I think they're wrong on a few things. This is one they're absolutely wrong because I've looked at it from all angles. But I was taught don't ever put any money in a whole life insurance contract because it's a lousy place to put money. It'll be 20 years to break even, sometimes 25 years to break even. Now to be fair to Charles Givens, Dave and Susie, for what they've been taught about it, for what they understand about it, they're right. If you're going to put money in a traditional whole life insurance policy to create wealth, there's better ways to do it. If your money doesn't break even for 20 or 25 years, that's not such a great place to put money. The problem is it's not what you know, it's what you don't know. And what I didn't know for over 20 years is that you can build these policies very differently than what you get in the traditional marketplace. You can grow them to have high cash value from day one, to break even in just a few years instead of 20 years, and then to become tax-free compounding monsters with all kinds of other benefits in them, that I don't really have time to, I'm not going to talk about all the benefits today. I've got a whole chapter in Wealth Without Stocks. If you're so inclined, pick up the book. But there's a couple of myths I want to destroy today. Number one is, if it's such a lousy place to put money, why does all the money put money there? Now, I'm sure you've been taught that I have, that if you want to get to the heart of something, follow the money. Well, that's what I decided to do. And I found that banks and corporations, say Fortune 400 companies, have hundreds of billions of dollars of their money inside life insurance contracts. Think about that for a minute. The famous family dynasties you've heard of, the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts and all the titans of industry, did you know that they've been using, and families like them have been using, life insurance for genera many generations now to grow and protect wealth? So let me ask you a question. Are all three of these categories stupid with money? Do they not know what they're doing? The answer is they absolutely know what they're doing. Most of the time. There's always some hiccups. But folks, when all the money is putting money there, what might that say to you? Is it really a lousy place to put money? Of course not. They wouldn't own it by the truckloads. Folks, Bank of America, back when I, when I, wrote, when I was writing my book, it changes all the time, but Bank of America had 21 billion dollars, with a B, of their money inside life insurance contract. Wells Fargo had $18 billion of their money inside life insurance contracts. And the list goes on and on and on. So again, if it's such a bad place to put money, why do they put money there? The answer is, if it's done right, it can be a fantastic place not only to put money, but to use interest volume and interest velocity and borrow money out, be your own lender, pay yourself back, and you practice volume and velocity on your money. Along with, guys, there's about 15 benefits. I call it the one account. In fact, the chapter in my book is called the one account. And it's the only account on the planet that has all these 15 benefits in one spot. And so if you're looking to grow and protect money, you want safety, security, and actually some, some performance and access to the money. One of the biggest things with a life insurance policy is you're going to have access to the money before you're 59 and a half if you need it. Or if you want it, if you're going to do business things with it, you can actually have access to that money without taxes, without penalty. When you eventually take out the money, it can be tax-free if it's done right. Your money's going to go forward every year without fail. When dividends are paid out, they're tax-free. All kinds of things. Not only that, it is a life insurance policy. So when you pass away, you're going to leave way more money behind for your family than if you just would have had the money somewhere else. Now, one last thing I'm going to call it a day for this video. The myth of buy term and invest the difference. It's what Charles Gibbons taught me. It's what Dave and Susie teach. But here's the deal. It's not a real strategy. It's a myth. Why is it a myth? Because almost nobody does it. I'm not saying the actual strategy can't be sound. 
term is always less expensive than whole life if you're looking at pure premium. But guys, my clients who set these up, they're not looking at this as an expense, they're looking at it as a wealth creator. And when you truly understand this, you, the question is not how cheap can you get my premiums, but how much can I get in these things? How much can I get in? And when you start asking that, that's when I know you understand this. So buy term and invest the difference says, well, look, term is less expensive. So to protect your family, get a term policy for the appropriate amount of coverage that you need. And let's just say that was going to be $100 a month. But the whole life version was going to be $400 a month for the same coverage, just for an easy example. That's $300 a month difference. So what the strategy says is, hey, don't buy the whole life. Take the term and the $300 that you, difference that you would have had to spend, put those in mutual funds. And you're going to grow those mutual funds and you're going to have a pile of money. There's one problem. There's more than one. But the main problem, almost nobody does it, guys. Money's only saved if you actually saved it. Just because you only put $100 into it and you didn't put $400 into it and there's an alleged savings of $300, Where's the $300 go? Can anybody point to me and say, well, this is what I've done with that $300 a month? A fraction of a percent of people. If you're one of them, congratulations. But if you're one of the 99.4% that doesn't do that, then it's, a, it's just a myth. It's, um, it's great theory, but you can't really put it into practice. Now, my clients don't ask, well, God, what can I get my premium down to? Folks, I've got clients who put all kinds of money in here, but I also want to expose another myth. Once people understand how these policies work, they might go to a traditional financial advisor. And if they have all this, the information in their hands, they can make an unbeatable case that it's a great place to put money. But what a financial advisor might do, say, well, maybe that's true, but you know what? You don't have enough money. That's only for the rich, because all these three happen to be uh, very rich. It's not just for the rich. I have clients just doing a few hundred dollars a month into these things, because that's what they can do, still building cash value, still building growth, still protecting their family, have access to most of the money to bank with it if they want to. And I also have clients who are putting in hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, because that's how flexible of a beast these can be. So with that, guys, I want to challenge anything you've ever heard about properly des designed life insurance. Properly designed whole life insurance. Not universal life I'm not talking about indexed universal life. That's a different animal in a certain situation. It could be okay. But for most people's situations, it has to be properly designed. And it's probably not going to surprise you to learn. That's what we do. We do this for clients all over the country. So just because you don't live here in Metro Detroit, which is where the office is, where I've lived my whole life, doesn't mean we can't do business with you. And in fact, most of our clients at the firm are nationwide, many more nationwide than I have local because of the internet and books and speaking engagements and those kind of things. So we can help you set this up. So first things first, get our book. And by the way, when you order the book, you get a thousand dollar bonus. It's a thousand dollar information package. There's 13 hours worth of education on there. This is a package that I sold for $995 when I was selling it from a platform at different seminar companies. Sold a lot of them. I sell it on my site, the downloads for $495. Any book buyer gets it absolutely free. And it's a whole course on this and many other things. Volume and velocity and money. It's fantastic. Got nothing but positive reviews. But I don't sell that publicly. I'd rather give it to you when you buy Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Fund. So if you go to wealthwithoutstocks.com, scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the offer there. Buy the book, get us your receipt, and we will get you the downloads over, including the complete course manual of a tremendous course on growing and protecting wealth. Thanks for stopping by. We've got a lot of other short videos on the page. I hope you'll take advantage and look at it. Once you've um, decided you want to reach out to us, feel free to call us directly or send us an email. We look forward to talking to you from this point on. Thanks so much. Again, this is John Jameson, best-selling author of The Perpetual Wealth System and Wealth Without Stocks or Mutual Funds. Have a great day.